The N1 towards Limpopo has been closed due to a fatal accident there. The Limpopo authorities say the accident happened near the Kranskop Toll Plaza. Joining us now is Limpopo Transport and Community Safety MEC Mavungu Lirulu Ramakanya. MEC, what do we know about this fatal accident so far? Uh, thank you very much. We are at the scene um, at uh, the Modimule N1 uh, bypass. Uh, it's true that we have closed both roads just to be able to allow our teams uh, to be able to deal with the scene. Up to so far, we have lost uh, five people and we still have two that has gone to the hospital. We have got survivors that I can confirm that they had their seat belt on uh, when the crash happened. They, they could not be flung out of the car because all of them in the car, they've been able to the way on the seat belt. We, we want to also confirm our head of traffic in Sekekana uh, can confirm that the accident did happen just a few minutes uh, before 10 o'clock. And because of the sensitivity of the scene, that's why we have closed uh, both lanes both northbound and southbound, and at Kranskop, we are expecting all traffic to reroute back to R101. And how many cars, MEC, were involved in this pileup? Um, the three cars were involved. Uh, it is alleged, uh, because our investigation is still underway, it is alleged that uh, one of the cars that were on the southbound had a tire belt and it affected it had to go on the southbound side where uh, it had to hit one car where we have lost the driver who was traveling alone and the second car at the back which had the um, uh, people they are the ones that have survivors that i'm saying they were there and they, they had buckled up and all of them have been able to to survive so you have mentioned mec that this happened at the Kranskop toll plaza that both the north and southbound uh, you know, lanes and directions have been closed. What should commuters do? How do they best find out about the alternate routes that are available to them at this time? Uh, we are appealing to all commuters that have not left their destination, especially from the Houghton province, to then go straight to the R101. We are also appealing and uh, informing the uh, southbound, the traffic that is leaving Punukwane, towards Kranskop to also say, let them use the R101. Um, when the traffic continues to come through Kranskop, it has uh, already created a stampede that we can confirm. I've just driven through that stampede. It's uh, going to be like plus or minus three kilometers already. Cars are waiting. But um, now we have got our law enforcers trying to assist uh, all the cars on the R101 and make sure visibility is there so that then we do not have other crashes on the other side. And how long is this road closure expected to be for? Um, we, we are expecting it to, to be there for another hour, uh, but I'm happy because the whole team of police, the forensic and everybody, I can confirm they are here on scene. Those that are getting ready to tow the cars are already here on the scene. So within uh, the next hour, if ever there is uh, more time that we are going to need, we'll be able to inform you so that then you can always pass the message to our road users. MEC, thank you so much for your time. But before I let you go, your message to uh, commuters during this festive season. Please buckle up and always keep uh, spaces. You know, uh, three spaces, uh, you need to see spaces between you and the car that is in front. And also, let's make sure that we do not overload our cars so that then they do not have pressure. When you feel that you have been on the road for too long, please stop. It's not only you that needs to rest, but also the car needs to rest. We can see because of uh, the tire burst. And my last message is that uh, we are still emphasizing to all the drivers, let's remain calm. Let's follow the normal speed of 120 and let's live beyond December. Let's all arrive alive. 
That's uh, the Limpopo Transport and Community Safety, MEC Mavungu Lirole Ramakanya. Thank you so much for that update. And uh, we do send our deepest condolences to the families of those who have lost their loved ones in not only this accident, but in all the fatalities uh, that we have experienced during this time. But even over and above the fatalities, whether it's uh, from sickness or uh, natural causes, we send our condolences to you too.